Okay guys, so today's video is going to be kind of an epic venture. Um, I've been really wanting to do another ColourPop video since the last one I did, which was around the holidays, I think. Um, I talked about the Forget the Fruitcake gift set, and um, I believe I talked about a couple of the other lippy sticks that I'd purchased, but um, I haven't done another one since then, and I thought that a swatch video would be really helpful. Um, there are a lot of swatch videos out there already, but, um, you know, I take pride in the fact that, like, swatching is my thing, and I feel like, you know, I need to have one, and I feel like you guys like swatch videos. But I also wanted to, um, talk about two other things. I'll do these really quickly first, and then I'll go into the swatching of the lippy sticks. But, um, I recently picked up two of the Super Shock blushes, too. Um, my friend Mallory did a video talking about these and um, I'll link her below. She's amazing. I'm sure you guys are all following her already. But um, I need to go back and watch it again because I watched it before I had purchased any. And um, I'm just not sure what kind of brush I should be using with these. But I'm super happy just aesthetically with the two shades that I picked up. So this one here is Between the Sheets. I'm gonna swatch them for you too, don't worry. And this one is Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac looked kind of scary in the swatches. I thought it might be more of like a contour. Gosh, this like, let me tell you, wear sunscreen. This like dark spot is becoming more and more prominent, I feel like. So, okay, um, that one is Aphrodisiac. How pretty is that? Also do like a arm swatch situation. It's totally not scary at all. And that's kind of built up. But like the these blushes have a really nice consistency. I feel like it's really easy to um, it'd be hard to overdo it with these. So this one I'm swatching right next to it is between the sheets. Sorry, this is like kind of awkward swatching. That's it on my finger. But um, but yeah, today is my first time trying these. I used aphrodisiac and then put a little bit of between the sheets on top of it because I felt like you could barely see it and you know how I am with blush so um, <laughs> I wanted to pack that on um, but anyways yeah well I just felt like it wasn't showing up it just looked like I wasn't wearing blush so um, but yeah so these are the two of those together and um, I think they're really pretty and yeah so I wanted to mention those first and then also I had gotten a set this was before the spring stuff came out but oddly this took a really long time to get to me it took like two weeks and um, my spring stuff came like two days later so that came really fast and this came kind of slow but this set is called fetch please it includes three lippy sticks and limited edition shades and one two three four five eye colors two of them are in split pans and one is in a single um, I have been I haven't actually tried the split pan eyeshadows yet but this one is called just a sip and it's a beautiful color just a nice like satiny um lid color i've been liking that a lot um i'm not going to swatch these other lip or these eye colors for you because um you can find them easily online and i feel like i really want to devote this video to lip swatching instead so it's gonna be long enough you guys as it is but um I'll try to link um, I'm pretty sure Colourpop has swatches of the eyeshadows too in fact I really mainly wanted to do lip swatches today like I said so um I'm not gonna do the lip swatches in any particular or in uh, the order that I'm going to do them in is going to be kind of by shade because I feel like the dark ones stain and I do not want to deal with that. <laughs> so, and then tr like, yeah, you always want to swatch lightest colors first because the darkest ones are going to stain your lips and they'll alter the colors of um, the, sorry, I'm confused right now. <laughs> um, they'll alter the colors of the lighter lipsticks that you try to swatch too. So, okay, um, let's do, I'm going to start with, this one that I'm sure I've already, these two that I'm sure I've already talked about, but I thought that they deserve to be mentioned because they're probably um, two of the most popular and two of my favorite shades. 
my lips right now are not anything from ColourPop. They are totally different. Um, this one is Brink. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the last ColourPop video I did, but you know, I wanted everything to be in one place. I love this color. The formula of this one is super nice as well. I feel like um, I'm going to do hand swatches of all the shades at the very end too because I have a lot to show you. Um, but yeah, this is Brink. I feel like Brink, um, just a really versatile color. The closest thing I have to it is probably from Bite Beauty. Um, both Amaretto and Gavi are pretty similar to this, but um, this one is so much cheaper. I feel like you might as well just get this one and skip those, although I love those too. So, you know, if it's me, I'll get all of them. <laughs> But if you're smart, don't do that. So that's Brink. Then let me show you the next one. This one is also kind of a dupe of a high-end color. This is Lumiere. And this one is a dupe for NARS Anna, the Audacious Lipstick. So you know, I prefer the formula of the NARS, but this one is really nice too, and it's very similar in color. I almost feel like Lumiere is just a teeny bit more wearable than Anna, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice kind of everyday purple. So uh, this one is a great one too. Next, I'm going to show you two shades that are new for spring that um, I was super excited about. This one is called Westy. Sorry, I haven't been showing you the bottoms of these. This is a matte. The other two that I just showed you were mattes too. The matte formula is my favorite. Okay, so this is Westy. What's interesting about Westy is that I feel like it's kind of, um, well, it goes on a little bit lighter than I expected, first of all, but I also think it's kind of a dupe for um, Tom Ford Julian. I haven't compared them in swatches to see for sure, but that's what it reminds me of most. Um, maybe a little bit lighter and a little bit more pink, but um, yeah, this is a pretty color. I like it. I really wasn't sure how I was going to like that one in person or not, but I do. And then this one... I am gonna show you the lip colors from Fetch Place too, by the way. <laughs> I didn't forget about those. Um, this one is called Tootsie, T-O-O-T-S-I. And this one is a really pretty gray taupe. So this lipstick has been getting a lot of comparisons to Lime Crime Cashmere. Um, I do have cashmere. Quick word on Lime Crime, I won't purchase anything from them again. Um, but I also am not a, really a fan of the Velveteens, even though I have two of them. Um, I think they're an overhyped product anyways. And I personally prefer this a million times over to cashmere anyways. Cashmere totally washes me out and makes me look like a corpse. This one I feel like is kind of, you know, um, edgy, but it doesn't really wash me out. And I feel like this is a really kind of on-trend color. It reminds me of um, NARS Dominique a little bit, um, maybe a little bit more muted, but um, yeah, really cool color, really great formula on the mattes. So there's that one. Sorry I'm not like doing these, you know, chopped up, but I feel like this is a little easier, you know, I feel like I can get through this faster. So Next, let's show you a couple of the ones. Uh, one of the lipsticks from, um, <laughs> what is he doing back there? Hi, handsome. My best boy. Um, one of them is super dark. It's like one of the darkest ones I have to show you, so I'm going to do it at the end. But these two are from Fetch, please. This one is called Precocious. Once again, it's a matte. Um, it's a nude that is very brown. And uh, I actually love this color, but um, not on its own. So I, 
I like this one over a liner. Um, I'll fill my whole lips in with liner or also I could go around the edges with liner and kind of blend it because by itself I feel like it kind of just washes me out a little bit although right now actually with the makeup I'm wearing today I kind of like it so um, I do really like this this is my favorite um, lippy stick that comes in that set so there's that the other one oops is uh, called squeeze and I feel like a lot of people will like this one as well. It's kind of like a cross between Lumiere and what? Um, Westy maybe a little bit. It's like a more muted Lumiere. Mouse has been meowing at me like all day it's driving me crazy <laughs> so um this is squeeze really pretty um everyday shade this is a just this squeeze precocious and the just a sip eyeshadow make that set worth it for me so and the other eyeshadows too um like this burgundy color and this like orangey color i think are going to be really fun too i just haven't worked up the balls to use them yet so um when I do uh we'll see so okay next this one um actually came in the forget the fruitcake set but it's permanent now um on its own so I thought I would swatch it again since you can buy it individually now this is called cookie also a matte I feel like I should only tell you if something's not a matte because almost everything is going to be a matte. Um, but yeah, this is just a really nice uh, basic nude. It's a little bit on the pink side. That's part of why I was so excited about Precocious is because I feel like most nudes are on the pink side or they're a little bit too orange and I like nudes to be kind of brown, I guess. Um, but this is a really nice color. I feel like it would suit a lot of people too. So, okay. Next, um, oh, where's my one that I hate yeah let's show you that one next <laughs> so um this is the only well no because there were a couple of bright shades in the front the fruitcake set that I wasn't a big fan of either but um this one is by far my least favorite lippy stick that I own and that is Cupid um it is a hyper glossy formula now when I took this out of the packaging, I was like, oh, that color looks super pretty. Sorry, my nails aren't done. I was about to do them and didn't have time. Um, when I put it on, though, just wait, wait for it. Oh, just like one swipe. I was like, this is going to be horrible. Oh, it's like glue. It's like rubbing a glue stick on my mouth. And I look like a uh, ganguru. Ganguru. You know that like Asian trend to like have super tan skin and like white lips? Yeah, <laughs> this is so awful. I mean, I can't even, it's super opaque. It's kind of sticky. It makes my teeth look yellow. It is horrendous. So for all you people who tell me so kindly that I can pull off any lip color, here's my proof that I cannot. <laughs> I would like to see someone who can pull this off and like it's actually like making my lips tingle right now <coughs> I really don't like that formula at all and I hate that color sorry Colourpop that was a miss for me this one is also a hyper glossy formula um this is a shade corset this one's a little bit better although I'm still not sure if I like the shade I was trying to kind of reach out of my comfort zone It goes on much nicer. I feel like people will like this color for sure. Cupid, not so much. So this is corset. I just don't really like this kind of, you know, vibrant purple shade on me. Like I like purples when they're more taupes, but um, yeah, I just feel like this doesn't really do anything for me. 
but that's the one thing with ColourPop that's nice is that, see that even this is staining, um, is that they're only five dollars each. So if you get one and you hate it, it's like, ah, it's just five bucks. Whereas like if it's something more expensive and you don't like it, it's so, uh, it's depressing. So this one, these two are um, pretty popular shades too. This one is Button. This is a satin formula. This one is, what's funny about this is I feel like this is more matte than the mattes. And this one, I feel like tastes a little bit better than the other ones too. It's more like a cupcake. So this is Button. This is a really nice color. I feel like it's going to be really fun um, in spring. And also I'm kind of uh, interested in trying this out with some lip liners too. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at this in the mirror and I think it looks pretty. Somebody left kind of a mean comment on my channel recently about me looking in the viewfinder and I was really irritated by it because I'm sorry but I'm filming videos where I'm mostly swatching things. I want to make sure that you can see what I'm showing you and I want to you know look at it myself too because that's what I'm doing. So if that offends you, if you don't like when I look in the viewfinder, you absolutely have the right to feel that way. But if you say something to me about it in a rude way in the comments, prepare for me to delete that comment. And if you egg me on, I'll probably block you because I'm just like not down for the negativity on my channel. You guys know that. I don't need you all to praise me all the time or anything either. But I just feel like, you know, if it's just going to make me feel bad and it's not really constructive, then what's the point in saying it? So you know, I always have, I always have to get on my soapbox for a minute. <laughs> so this one is Frida. It's a really nice, um, kind of warm pink. I feel like a lot of people would look good in the shade and do look good in this shade. I'm always seeing people swatch this and it looks great on them. Um, I've wanted it for a long time and thought, why not? So we're getting into the crazy shades now. Next up is, let's do this one first. This is, um, I almost said Dahlia. This is Yasmin. Ah. Oh, the formula of these matte shades is so nice. Even like these crazy bold shades are so easy to apply. Well, this one is easy to apply. I'm going to show you another one that's not so easy. So this one is Yasmin. It's a really beautiful, like what's funny, I feel like sometimes it looks more um, orange on camera. When I look off camera, it almost looks more of like a strawberry. Um, but it's a really, I mean, whatever it is, it's a really pretty shade. Unfortunately, it's a little too bold for me and I haven't actually worn it outside of the house yet. <laughs> so I just uh, don't tend to wear colors like that that often. So I just, I lost one, where did I put it? Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is wet. This one is a really unique color. This one's a pearlized finish. It's the only one that I have like this. And I'm going to say right now, I'm not using this with a liner right now but normally I would say you should definitely use a liner at this. Because of the finish, you can see my lips underneath. And, uh, you know, I just swatched that bright color, so it's not really showing up true. I just think this is really fun. So it's kind of bizarre, but it's cool. I don't know. I just like it. Like, it's one of those things that I never would have expected to like this kind of shade. And yet here I am. And I do like it. So there's that. And then next up. This one's a little harder to take off too because it leaves some pieces. This is Dahlia. This is super, super dark. Oh. 
So I was gonna say that I had to emphasize that that shade, um, Yasmin, was easy to apply for a really pigmented shade that's bold. Uh, these really vampy shades, not so much. Definitely recommend a liner. So this is Dahlia. It's definitely like a blood red, burgundy type shade. Um, really pretty. I mean, they're, aside from like Cupid, very few shades that I've tried I haven't liked on me. Um, once again, this one's a little bold for me though. I tend to go for more nudes and things in every day. And then this is the last one I'm gonna show you. This is also the last shade from the Fetch Me set. It's called Paramore. It's also a matte. This one, prepare yourselves. This is really hard to apply to, let me tell you. Uh, it just goes on kind of creamy and uh, patchy. Okay, I feel like, like I did a little bit better that time than when I tried to swatch it this morning on my lips um, for Instagram, which I believe now I have all of those swatches posted on Instagram as well so that they can coincide with this video. Um, yeah, you can see this shade. It's like, this is crazy. I'm so uncomfortable wearing shades like this right now. I'm like, I'm ready for spring. And yeah. I just, I'm not comfortable, like, I'm, what's funny, I'm more comfortable wearing this, though, than the orange, so, I don't know, but, um, but yeah, I am a big fan of the Colourpop Libby Sticks, particularly the mattes, um, I haven't tried many of the other formulas, I, obviously, I've tried the satin, and I like the satin as well, um, the hyper glossy, any of the glossy ones, um, not super into, you know what? What am I saying? I think I've I have tried all the formulas. Um, the pearlized one, the only one I have is wet. Um, I don't think they have many colors in that formula anyways. But um, yeah, so let me really quickly swatch everything in my hand. I will be right back. Can't find the button. <laughs> Always so real. Okay, so this is every shade. I believe there were 15... Anyways, I'll count them. <laughs> okay, so let's go. This is Brink, Lumiere, Westy, Tootsie, Precocious, Squeeze, Cookie, Cupid, Corset. Even in swatched, Cupid looks much better. Um, that one is Button, Frida, Yasmin, Wet, Dahlia, and Paramore. So that is everything swatched. Um, big fan of these. I think they're a total steal at $5. Also um, excited about these Super Shock Cheeks, but um, I, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out what's the best way to apply them. Got to go back to Mallory's video to find out. Also really liking this Fetch Please set. That's one thing that I love about ColourPop too, is they come out with these fun, um, sets and collaborations with um, with bloggers with you know up-and-comers and things like that and I just think they're super fun and they come out with limited edition shades and things and I just think that they're a really um, innovative brand and um, I'm super impressed with them I know a lot of people people comment on things they post all the time about them shipping internationally I'm sure they will get to that at, at some point um, but you know, just ease off people. <laughs> Drive me crazy. It's like half the comments I see on things I post are about their shipping to other countries. Also, they um, pretty much always have, um, they always have free shipping on $30 and um, they also have a $5 off code for um, 
new email subscribers, I believe. Um, you can find out about more about that on the web pretty much anywhere if you Google it. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed filming it. And um, any requests or anything you might have, I'm kind of in the mood to be filming more creative type videos lately. So I feel like I do the same things all the time. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video about tea, a video about perfumes. I don't know. You let me know. So, okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Bye.